Are you curious of what OCHEM will look like? Here's a glimpse. As we progress into organic chemistry, you'll quickly realize how inefficient Lewis structures are when it comes to larger molecules. Instead, we can use a more efficient method called bond line notation, which allows us to quickly write our molecules along with determining their structure. In Lewis structures, especially with hydrocarbons, we represented each carbon and hydrogen atom along with all the bonds in the molecule. Here's an example of hexane, our six carbon molecule in a Lewis structure. If we were to convert it into bond line notation, there would be some rules we have to follow. First, when drawing our structure, we have to draw our molecules in a zigzag formation. When doing this, each end of the molecule and corner will represent a carbon. For example, these two ends align with these carbons in the Lewis structure, while these four carbons, which we can think about as corners, are the four inner carbons in our Lewis structure. This is the beauty of bond line notation. It takes the geometry of the molecules into account. This is just the beginning. There are so many videos and practice problems all on community.